guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video I thought it would be fun to show you guys what I keep in my travel makeup bag one I have a really great bag that just works great for travel but also it's always interesting to see what products people travel with because you only take your most loved products or at least that's typically what I do I have some new things though that I am taking so I thought that this would just be a fun way to kind of show you guys what I take so let's go ahead and get started so this is my travel makeup bag as you can see it is stuffed to the brim this is the Sonia Kashuk Weekender bag, which I recently saw Emily talking about from Emily Noel. I'm familiar with her channel. She does awesome stuff. And she had talked about this a couple months ago about using her bag, and it kind of inspired me to bust out mine. I purchased this a couple of years ago. It was 2011, which the only reason I know that is because I used this for pageants. And then after that, I kind of packed this away and started using a smaller makeup bag. But the thing that's nice about this is you can fit everything. So I don't just have makeup in here. I also have all my toiletries as well. And it's just nice to have everything that you can take this into the bathroom and have everything in one spot because I used to take a separate bag for those items, a bag for my makeup, and then also a separate bag for my makeup brushes and everything fits in there. So the convenience factor is definitely there. This pattern I'm sure is not available anymore, but when I was looking on Target's website, she had a lot of new patterns, lots of pretty florals for spring. So I'm sure you can find something that's way cuter than this, but this works for me. You just have the two handles up here and then you have two main pouches. So I'll kind of just go through. First off, I will show you all of the makeup and how I store all of that. This is how everything fits in there. You have this nice big clear compartment here, which is why I like to keep my makeup in there because it's easy to find everything. Nothing gets lost. And then if you come over here, this is where all the brushes are. And I love that there's just this little flap here to protect your brushes, make sure that you're not getting them, you know, all dirty and getting all over all the other products. So I don't have all my brushes in here yet. I still need to pack those because some of them I'm using a lot or they're still dirty but this is where I like to keep them I keep my little tweezer here as well as my eyelash curler but I like that they all fit in here and then over here I will slide like a setting spray down in here or it's where I also like to keep my sponges as well so I'll kind of show you there's also a zippered compartment here so I'll show you what I have in there first I have um, a couple pairs of lashes. I don't have any like single pair, so I have to take all these, which isn't that big of a deal, but these are just the 110s. I believe they're from Salon Perfect and then my duo lash glue. So these always go along with me. I'm also taking a couple moisturizers. I do want to use up this Tarte Rainforest of this Sea. This was a little sample from having Sephora points. So I want to use this up. I'm also taking this Pond's Nourishing Moisturizer. I've traveled with this a lot. It's really lightweight and seems to hydrate my skin really well and I've also been using this corrective eye cream from Arbonne this is from that their RE9 set so this has just been working well for my under eyes and I thought it'd be easier to travel with than my elf under eye cream which I love but I'd rather not take a heavy jar so these are the moisturizers the desert does crazy things to my skin so that's why I'm taking enough moisturizers and then I'm just going to take the Cetaphil, 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 Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. This works good for my skin, super gentle. You can use this on your face and your body as well. So I'll take this. And I don't have these in my bag yet, but I always take my Neutrogena makeup wipes. Those are always a given with me. And then I also have my little thing of floss. I haven't got my toothbrush. Then of course, a little travel size deodorant and a hair clip, which is one of those things that I, well, I always need to do it to put on my makeup. So I always try to keep one in here at all times. So that's everything that fits in this zippered compartment. Next, I will get into all of the makeup products then. So everything is just in that clear compartment. I'll try and list them off on how I like to apply them. So first up is a primer. This is the little DHC Velvet Skin Coat Makeup Primer. My mom actually got me kind of into this brand. She uses a lot of this stuff and so I've been using this little sample and it works really well. It's very pore minimizing and also I feel like that it helps with oil control. It reminds me a little bit of uh, Maybelline Baby Skin but maybe a little bit thicker. So I really like this and the size is perfect for a it won't take up much room at all. 
So for foundations, I am going to take two, my trusty Make It Forever Ultra HD. Also taking this foundation from Sonia Kashuk. This is a soft focus satin matte foundation. I just picked this up this week and I've been really enjoying it. So I want to just take it and continue using it. Of course, if you know something happens and I don't like it that much, I still am taking a trusty foundation that I know and love. But I'm using this in cream and it's a little bit dark for me but I think that I'll make it work. I love this packaging. It kind of reminds me of like NARS or something but it's a glass bottle. It has a pump and I'm gonna take these two. Funny story about this that I just have to mention. So when I picked this up this was the only one left in this shade and I could tell that the packaging was tampered with a little bit which is super annoying. You know if you shop at the drugstore a lot you know that a lot of the items you know people are opening them and messing with them and I really wish people wouldn't do that because then you know that's your shade and it's already been open and like lipsticks are all messed up so with this foundation and I still wanted to try it though it didn't look like it was super tampered with it wasn't messy or anything so I went to purchase it this product though does have a kind of a weird scent it definitely has like a fragrance perfume type smell but even like a little hint of spiciness to it like a sentiment and so I immediately I'm thinking okay does someone put something in here that's going to irritate and like burn my skin I mean these are just normal thoughts but anyways it does have a crazy scent to it that was a really weird story but these are the foundations that I'm taking I also always like to travel with a BB cream so I'm taking this Garnier BB cream I've talked about this a lot um the SPF 20 this product it never runs out I'm sure that it's getting old but I mean it still works and there's still some in there and I don't know you know it just it always lasts this is the medium to deep so it's definitely my summer time one and I just like this for the daytime out by the pool things like that moving right along into concealer I'm taking my Maybelline master conceal and fair and I'm also taking my NYX dark circle corrector this is a light and this has that peachy tone to it so I figure this is always a good thing to take and I use this pretty much on a daily basis for my powders to set my under eyes I'm taking my Laura Mercier loose translucent powder I don't use this very much on a daily basis I just prefer to use my airspun or my RCMA powder because I want to keep Keep this but I need to start using this more and I'm also taking this L'Oreal infallible pro matte powder this is one of my favorite pressed powders so just to kind of set everywhere just a really nice creamy and like soft feeling powder on the skin and it really helps to absorb oil I love taking products that have like a multi-purpose so this guy I mean look how big it is this is the Laura Geller baked color and contour set in sunset glow so you're getting a blush a highlight and a bronzer it's kind of crazy looking but it's their typical um, baked products this is french vanilla which i have a little size of and i already like so love this just to kind of show you like this and then you have i think this is in it doesn't say on the back but i want to say it's like cherry custard or something a really pretty like rosy tone blush and I love this bronzer because it has all these different colors swirled into it and there's some shimmer there but anyways it's a three-in-one product I think it will be great for travel so I'm gonna take this guy since that bronzer did have a lot of shimmer and it was pretty warm I am also gonna take from the balm this is my Bahama Mama bronzer and this is a nice cool tone matte bronzer that will work for contouring so I just wanted to have an option in case I didn't just want like a bronzy type look I think that's everything for the face then so moving into eyes for my primer I'm gonna take my NYC primer this thing is like on its last leg it keeps wanting to fall out but I just want to keep using it I'm going through it so I'm gonna take this I am taking one of my favorite palettes this is from Lorac again I don't like to talk about it that much because it was a limited edition product but first of all it's so nice and compact there and you get five shades three of them are matte and I'm able just to create a lot of looks with this you can go dark and smoky you can also do like a daytime look using these I love this little pop of coral there and it's just one of my favorite products to travel with if I ever see this show up on Hot Look or online or something I will definitely tweet it out because this is just an awesome little palette so I'm going to take this and then just have a little bit of variety in case I want to mix up that palette. I'm going to take this little Bare Minerals. This is like a loose pigment. And this is in Meteorite. It's very much like my MAC pigment in tan. But I like the packaging so much better. So you have this little pigment jar. But you're able to get the product on an applicator. So it's way less messy. And it's just it's gorgeous on the lid. So I thought this would be fun for date night. Things like that. We're looking at all the pencils. Ooh. 
throwing them. Okay, so now we have all the pencils here. So I'm going to be taking the Marc Jacobs highliner. This was the one in Earthquake. It's that nice, pretty, dark brown. This is a waterproof eyeliner as well, so I thought that would come in handy. Also taking my Physician Formula Eye Booster Pen. This is my favorite liquid eyeliner. And then I'm also, let's see, where it is? This is a lip liner, actually. Let me grab the right one. And I'm taking this Maybelline Master Skinny Precise. I love this little gel pencil for tight lining, things like that. So that's going to be my black eyeliner. And then my Rimmel in the Nude Inner Rim Liner. Then for my brows, which the last has been found, you guys. I talked about how I was missing the recently purchased brow pencil. And I found it. It's the Maybelline Brow Define and Fill. So you have a pencil, retractable little pencil on this side. And then on the other side, you have... A little bit of powder that goes in here so those are all my pencils and for mascaras I'm gonna of course take my L'Oreal voluminous carbon black and then also my Maybelline colossal big shot because it is waterproof and this is crazy waterproof so it'll be good for the days by the pool and then for lips I'm taking this Maybelline this is one of their new into mattes in beige babe gorgeous nude shade I love this shade so much and then I don't have it. I believe it's in my purse, but I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Cat Suit in um, Rebel Rose. And then I'm also taking one of the Wet n Wild's gel lip liners, which shout out to these. These are so creamy. I recently also purchased one of these new Maybelline Into Matte lip liners. And the comparison, even though they have good nudes with this Maybelline line, their lip liners just, they don't go on as smoothly as this gel one does. So this is in the shade Bare to comment if you can find this. For sure pick this up because it is the perfect nude liner. It's retractable and it is so creamy on the lips like you barely have to press that all which is so nice for a lip liner so that is all of the makeup that I'm taking so I'll take you guys to the other side of this bag and we'll kind of go into what travel size items I'm taking okay so then on the other side of this bag here you have a little open let's see if I'll show you you have a little open pouch here so I'm going to take these items out first and then you have these little pouches here that are clear, but they also are held on by Velcro. So let's go ahead and show what's in this little pouch here because I don't want things to just be spilling out. So of course I have my contact case in here. I need to go actually put the case in here. It's just a little holder. And then I'll have my contact solution, things like that. I have a couple hair products, my little Tresemme mousse, and then this is also, you might recognize this as the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray Bottle, but I just took off the label and this is my L'Oreal Texture Spray. So instead of bringing the whole size, I just prefer to keep it in this little travel bottle. I have a little thing of sunscreen, that's definitely a must. My little travel size razor. I love this guy from Venus. It has its own little carrying case and you can still use like the same replacements that you'd have for your normal razor. And then some eye drops. And that's all that goes in that little pouch. So just to kind of show you because I wasn't able to earlier what that looks like. So you just have this little pouch right here. So then you have these guys, which are clear, and then like I said earlier, you just pull off. You're able just to take these, you know, to the shower or whatever, so you don't have to take the whole bag. So I'll show you what I have in these. These are mostly shower items. So in the first one here, just take it right off, I have two little sample sizes of this shampoo and conditioner. This actually came in my Target beauty box, so it was perfect to just try these out. And then I have an Olay body wash in there. And then in the other pouch, a Dove Dry Shampoo, which also came in that beauty box, and a Tresemme Hairspray. And then this is just a little refillable travel size thing of lotion. I think I have the Bath & Body Works Warm Brown Sugar Honey. What is that one? Warm Vanilla? I don't know. Um, that's the one that I have in there. So that just works really nicely. And I'm going to go ahead and put everything back in here, zip it all up, and show you guys. Okay, so everything is all packed up in here. But as you can see, it still is nice and compact. It's like my little beauty suitcase. But this is what I prefer to travel with. And it, it works really nice to have everything that I need beauty-wise kept nice and compact in this little bag. So I'll go ahead and leave a link to the Weekender bag. And I hope that you guys found this interesting. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Thank you.